To make a robot by himself was not such an incredible challenge for Azamat anymore. At the beginning, design, programming, and controlling the machine was a hobby for this young specialist, and now it's his job. The main thing is to try hard enough and to be patient. You can make anything real, says the inventor, and it all started with a simple hobby in 3D graphics. I started to study this software. I liked 3D graphics. Later on, being smart guys we were, we gathered at the IT center and we were undertaking various projects there. After we started implementing big projects at the IT center, we were sent to study robotic engineering at the Yekaterinburg in Russia. This young man is not only one who invents something. In addition to college science classes at the Karaganda Technical and Construction College, he runs clubs where other talented people study the basics of 3D graphics and make robots. I came in the national contest for the best commercial project first. I presented an electronic textbook for the national subject basic military training. This textbook presents an arms inventory that is used in basic military training lessons in order to safely study weapons assembly and disassembly. Now Azamat is not only reaping the fruit of his own work, but he's also happy to be a mentor. Last year, one of his students became the best in the national competition and this year, his mentee's work was recognized at the international level. This is why the young inventor is sure that the future belongs to technical education, especially in the era of advanced technologies. Rustam Rakhmetkaliev also agrees with this. In 2016, he graduated as a civil engineering technician from the Astana Polytechnic College. Now he is an engineer at the production support department in one of the biggest construction companies in the capital. When Rustam started his studies, he already knew where he would work after graduating from college. During the training, it turned out that our group was chosen as an experimental group for the dual training system. So let's say we were the pioneers in this area. The dual training system consists of 60% of practice and 40% theory. The dual training system was introduced nationally in 2012. The educational process assumes that the theoretical part of the training is conducted in colleges and the practical part is done at the workplace. Half of my practical training was done when I was a carpenter, the other half as a stonemason. Also, the defense of our diploma project took place at a construction company. We were given a task to design the first floor. We had to design everything, and we work. The whole group presented this project and gained honor. Every year, professional occupations are becoming more popular in the country. Successful in their business, Azamat and Rustam are proof of this.